Hi, I'm Mike Sullivan. Welcome to Guitar Tech, how to do it yourself. Hi, Gospel Guitarist here with another interesting video. I uh, hope you find it interesting. Um, what I'm going to do today is install a Roland GK3 system uh, for MIDI on a Schecter C130th anniversary model that I have here. And it's going to be, uh, I'm just going to go over this real quick because there's a lot of things that you can, that are involved. The toughest part of this whole install will be getting the uh, pickup set up properly for your guitar. Um, as you can see here, I already have a bracket mounted to, to the pickup. I already done that and got that out of the way. You just install a couple of the, there's a couple pieces of rubber. Um, I figure if one is good, then two is better. Um, <laughs> because my bridge sits really close to the top of the body. And these screws that they use, that, that come with it are a little bit long for me. Um, on a Gibson Les Paul where your bridge sits up a little higher, um, I wouldn't worry about the length of these screws. But if you've got um, one of the Schecter models or an Ibanez or something that uses the same type of, of uh, bridge, you might get a clearance problem because these, these screws are just a little long in my opinion. But other than that, um, it's a nice system. It comes with a whole bunch of um, extras that you won't be seeing in the video because I don't need them for this install. Um, for Stratocasters and other guitars, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do to adjust the height of the pickup system. Um, it comes with a little, this little guy here, just a little L-shaped, it's one millimeter spacer that you can check the uh, string spacing so all six strings need to be that that close to the pickup okay so once you get it installed you got to go through and make sure that the height is good and so if it's not you got to do a lot of adjustments so i won't go through all of that process in this video that could be lengthy and boring so um, but it does come with a whole bunch of uh, little things that you can double tape to the guitar to uh, get the spacing correct. There's three or four different sizes here. Um, and uh, those things will be used to get your guitar set up for the, or get the, get the pickup set up for your guitar. Now on this guitar I'm using a, a mounting plate that comes with it. Um, this is the easiest way to install it on this guitar or a Les Paul style guitar. So next, once you get the pickup set up on here, um, the, the instructions go into great detail on how to set up the pickup itself. This is the most lengthy part of the install. Um, there's a little adjustment screw right in the middle. And this little guy comes with the pickup and you just use it on this screw right here and what it'll do is it adjusts the pickup height um, not this curved plastic piece right here this part just looks like it's a fixed it's a fixed contour it looks like about a 12 inch radius there but the pickups there's six individual pickups and they will kind of uh, do one of these numbers so that you can set the radius of the pickups to match the radius of your fretboard and that's something you want to do before you get it on although i think you know you'd be fine to make those adjustments once you do get it set up i think uh you're going to need to make final adjustments they don't go into that but in the manual but setting it up off the guitar will work if you know the radius or you have a radius gauge that you can get from Stu mac they're just a little plastic you know, white pieces of plastic with different gauges on them or you can get them at the guitar shops um, or you can just eyeball it too so or if you if you know what your radius is that helps if not you need to research what the radius of your guitar neck is so that you can get the pickup set up to match it and that way you'll get the best tone without a lot of tracking mistakes and tracking errors so as you can see this is um, one unit 
So you have the uh, the actual pickup mounted here on the on the mount for the tom bridge, and the cable is fixed to it, and it is permanently attached to both ends. So you're not going to be able to take the cable off or unplug it or anything like that. And so the next step here that we want to do is we want to get these strings loose so I can get this bridge off and put this on. Okay, now that I got the bridge removed, and the strings removed. The next thing you do is, when you're using this piece anyway, um, you need to lower your posts two millimeters to make up for the height that this will add to the post. So you want to take those down a little bit, and it, and it says about two millimeters. Um, that's the thickness of the metal of this plate. And then once you get that done, you can just set that guy right on there. There is some leeway here for the way it moves around um, <clears throat> so it'll fit your bridge properly. Then all you do is take your bridge piece and you put that back in place. Okay, now as you've seen, it just lined that right up. Okay, it did a really good job and the, uh, the, the arcs are matched pretty well. Now. This is a Loctone uh, bridge here, so it's got locking hex nuts. But I'm going to leave those loose until I get everything assembled and it's restrung, and then all my adjustments are finished and finalized. Then I will lock everything down. But I would not suggest locking things down at this point. And that's all there is to installing the pickup on the bridge. You don't need to drill any holes in your guitar, so you don't have to worry about that, unless, of course, you choose to. Um, I wouldn't choose to, <laughs> not on this one. Um, but a Strat, um, where it has the plastic plate, um, a lot of people choose to just drill little pilot holes there, and it comes with the screws that you can use with a spring, and they're spring-loaded, so the pickup becomes adjustable on the, on the um, plastic pick guard similar to the other strap pickups. So um, you have your choice or you can use double-sided sticky tape. Uh, it comes with a bunch of sticky tapes of different sizes. So you can actually sticky tape all this stuff to your guitar. But that wouldn't be too good for your finish. Come to take it off later, depending on what kind of finish you have, it may not like that glue too well. So this method does not involve any any taping whatsoever on this guitar. Everything that I've chosen to do will not require much of the stuff that, that shipped with it. <laughs> so the next thing we do, now that we have this set up, is we need to find out how much cord we need. And there's a little spot on the back of this unit. There's a little hole where you can co coil up the cord. Now I already, I already figured out that I need to go around twice inside. And um, before I do that though, because I'll just lose it if I don't, there's three screws that have arrow markings that probably won't show up on the video, but when you get the unit you'll see there's three arrows pointing to three screws. So what I've got to do now is take those screws out because we need those screws to attach the plate. This is the mounting bracket that attaches to your guitar, but it goes on the back of the unit. So we need to remove the screws first. Now, once we get the screws out, then you can coil the wire. And um, this way I don't have to deal with the coiled wire inside of it. While I'm working on it, I can just not worry about the wire right now. Remove these three screws. I was a bit skeptical about doing this, so I was happy to see because this model guitar is also an arch top. But unlike a Les Paul, the Schechter models have a flat top on them up here. And if you mount it to the bridge piece using the, the bridge mounting bracket, you don't have to worry about it being curved or not anyway. Um, so I was a little worried about how this is going to go on the guitar because 
right in here there's a nice little slope and this is not curved for a uh, it's just straight so it'll slap itself right on a Stratocaster or a flat top very nicely but I didn't know what to do so I had to do research and then I found out about the, the rubber pads that come with it which you'll see me that you put underneath it so that helps so we can put the coil wire in there and I already know it's two times so now this becomes a cover for this to hold your wire in place. And then you just put the screws back in. And that's all that's required for this unit as far as any kind of an assembly goes. Now this uh, bracket is steel. It's very sturdy steel, but there are rubber padding glued to it to protect your guitar's finish. And that's it. Now it's all set up. And the, the, uh, the wire looks good. It's not quite going to go around another time, so <laughs> I already figured that out. Um, now the next thing you do once you get this step done is you need to loosen your strap bolt on the end of your guitar there. I've already loosened this one. I use the Marzio's uh, quick clip straps, quick locks. Now this end piece here has a big slot in it and there's a protruding screw. It's not actually, it's, well yeah, it's a screw I guess. <laughs> um, that's for the other bracket here. So we're going to sandwich the guitar body right in here. Okay. So remember all this stuff does have cushion on it so you're not going to damage your guitar at all. So we just slide this over on a guitar. Now if we just did that, this is going to be at an angle. You're not going to be able to tighten this up and it's going to look, look terrible. So what you got to do if you have an arch top is you got to take one or two of these. I'm taking two because that's what I need. Now two of these will insert right in here, right underneath it. And it's actually the opposite angle now. It's just a little too high, but just a little bit, not very much. So what I need to do is just push it down just a little bit and then tighten this, well, tighten the screw up. Perfect. Okay, now this will work just fine if you have locking, you know, Schaller system on your guitar for your guitar straps. You're just not going to have any issues here. It's just simply loosening the screws, slipping this thing in there, and that's it. So as you can see, now it's looking almost complete. The next step you got to do is take this bracket, slip it underneath the back and over the screw on this side here. You can see how that goes. Just like that. And it comes with a washer, a lock nut. And a nice handy dandy actually decent looking end cap screw there. Or I guess you could say an end cap nut. Um, so the next thing you want to do is make sure you get this slightly snug together and then lock it down.
and that's the assembly here now the the cable will be semi neatly out of the way because it's not got all that extra line sticking out here and getting in your way and the other thing you need to do is take this line I wondered for a while it's like why is this little hook there <laughs> um, that's so you can tuck the line underneath and it'll help to uh, keep that under the, out of the way now I'm going to probably put it in there something like that because that way the strings will go over the top and this part of my guitar will be nice and clean and that's it now all I have to do is restring it and make sure that the uh, pickup height is all set perfect with this little gauge and um, if it's not then I would just remove this because it's not bolted down it's right now it's just easy to remove and I could either take out or add little plastic spacers that come with it these are just little black pieces of hard plastic of different thicknesses until I get the right height okay and if it's too high it does come with some metal washers that are meant to go underneath your bridge and just sit right on top of here so it'll actually lift your bridge up if you can't get it to quite mesh the properly properly so there's lots of options to get it right but the way it looks to me is this went a lot better and a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna go so that's just about it there's no need to keep this going um, that's it so I hope you found it a little bit more informative. When I went to buy this, I was looking all over YouTube and all I seen was quick animations of it slapping on a guitar but nobody really doing it. So now at least I've got a video out there that actually you can actually see it done, at least in this format. So I hope you found it helpful. If so, uh, subscribe. I'll be doing more. Um, I have the Roland GR55, which came with this GK3 that's why I'm doing the install and so I'm looking forward to doing some videos on how to set that up as I learn how to do it and um, hopefully help people out this is my first time messing with a MIDI guitar I've been dying to do it and I'm so happy that uh, I'm able to do that now and I'm, I plan on doing this install on my Schecter C1EA, but I will be doing a video on that guitar as well, but it is going to be a Ghost MIDI system install. Since that guitar already has a Ghost Piezo pickup system in it, I see no reason to add this pickup system to it when it's already fully MIDI capable if I just add the daughter board to it. So I'll be doing a future video on that in a couple months. That'll be several hundred dollars investing in that, but it's going to be worth it. So that'll be another video on the C1EA, <laughs> which is like half of my videos, I think, are, are customizing that guitar. So I hope you all find it helpful. Let me know what you think. Um, post any questions you have about the install. Um, I've thoroughly read up on how the install is done. So if you have a question, feel free to, to leave one. So thank you for watching and happy midi-ing. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time on Guitar Tech, how to do it yourself.